Welcome to Linux Min 90.3 and today we will talk about game and the platform Steam. Steam working very hard to bring all, uh, all games for Windows to Linux and it's almost succeeding now. You can install the client through Software Manager or directly from the website. If you go to the Software Manager, oops, so you can just type Steam in the search uh, area have a different versions, I would recommend the one which is just a say Steam with no text after. This is the original one uh, made by the original developer and to avoid uh, problems I do recommend to install from here. So if you like you can install from the website just go to Steam port and create your free account if you don't have it already and just press the button to install or download. So the Steam website will detect your operational system so you just have to click the blue button and download the file. When the file is uh, already in your computer you just have to go to download folder locate the file, press the right button on the top of the file and you can just click uh, to execute the installation on the top. We will not use this method because the software manager is native uh, and recommended support for Linux Mint and the Steam client is, um, is really ready to be installed from here. So just press the, the green button from Software Manager and it will take a few seconds to install it. When it's ready, you can launch and it will have two more steps uh, which are completely automated. One of them is to download the latest version of the full Steam package and the second one it will be self-updated. This procedure is, uh, is normal even for Windows system. So it's not just particular for Linux. So we start the first uh, uh, installation. Of it will take a while. When it's finished it will relaunch and self-update it to the latest version again. Now, when the installation is ready, you'll find a category games and there you'll find the application Steam. Here it is, category game, application Steam. Now is the, late, the last step of uh, updating. And it will take a few seconds, don't be worried if, uh, if nothing happened on the screen, it's actually still working. When the client is on, you just put your login credentials. As I said, it's free, so you can just go on the website and create it. Okay, here we are in our Steam client. For Linux users, special for Linux users, have a button for Linux. When you press it, if you have a list of many, many games here, you filter it only games which are 100% compatible and tested for Linux. And the activate will show you all, the whole list. I will show you in the settings in the Steam Play, you actually activate a special feature. This feature will allow you to play games which are not 100% compatible or 100% approved for Linux. This one will download a special uh, Proton, Proton um, game package, which is allow you to actually execute direct X 11 and 12. After activating this package, uh, it will reboot the client 
and from this moment it will not have any difference between Windows and Linux. You'll be able to execute games which are not even developed for uh, Linux, but you still can play them very well. In the games I will show you that you can actually still have uh, options to choose only Linux which are only Linux games. So selecting from games just Linux, you'll be able to just uh, install only games which are meant and 100% compatible for Linux only. As I said, we did activate uh, ProtonDB and uh, from now on we can actually install every single Windows game with no problems. Now, if you go to the website of ProtonDB.com you see which game has been tested and what is the level on compatibility. Again to show you where you can activate them and always recommend to install the latest version of Proton. Now, every single computer is different, every single distribution is different, so if it shows it is not very compatible, does not mean that your computer will not be able to run it good. As you can see, many, many games are uh, already tested, but your system is always unique, so you can try by yourself. If you wonder what are the colors or the names, here in this small link you see the description of which package, what they mean, if, it's com if you can run it or maybe you can wait. Also in the games you can sort it, it by uh, the one which are already the best compatible and tested from uh, different users like all these Platinums are just uh, ready to be used. If you wonder and don't, you can just type directly your game which you're interested. Let's say Witcher. And as you can see, Witcher 3, you can play it. Witcher 2, you can play it with no problems too. Just uh, if you, you know, don't forget to check what was uh, the level of compatibility. And again, you can try with your own system because every system, my operational system, is unique. Now, if you like to uninstall Steam, you can do it through the software manager. Just go back to typing Steam. Go to the application and press the button Remove. This is the procedure for uninstalling your client. This is everything what I wanted to show you today. Thank you.